A book that I'm so excited about because I haven't heard much about this book, but it reminds me of a book that I loved. Isn't that what literally every reader wants? Every time someone passes in front of my car, I take down the camera because I'm too awkward. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. Welcome to one of my favorite videos ever because it means you're going book shopping and we're going to get new books. We're going to go to Barnes & Noble. I just looked outside and checked the weather and it's actually like 60 something degrees out. That is amazing to me. That is so warm. I feel like I am like all going to be hot if I go in my slippers and PJ so we're gonna have to change I have a few things in mind that I want to get honestly if I'm going to Barnes & Noble I'm gonna look specifically at the special editions because Barnes & Noble has some amazing special editions and I've gotten a few of them but not too many and I just feel like I want to walk around Barnes & Noble and look at all the special editions and I'm going to get a couple books that are next in a series that I'm in the middle of I don't know we're just gonna see we're just gonna see what the bookstore shows us and decide then. But we are gonna have to go change because I'm gonna sweat in this. A little early spring. A little bow. Let's go get some books. Hello everyone. Oh my goodness, it was so crowded in there. I was in there for much longer than I had to be because every time I would see something and get excited and want to like whip out my phone to record it, someone would pass by me and I just was like, nope, nope, gotta wait till he leaves. <laughs> that happened so many times. Barnes & Noble is popping today. I can't fathom how awkward I would be if someone saw me recording myself. <laughs> I hope this lighting's okay. I was parked in a sunnier spot, but then there was someone sitting in the car next to me, and I was like, no, I have to find a different spot. So yeah, we did get some books. So I wanted to get more, but I ended up putting some back because I was like, okay, Sarah, five is enough. <laughs> um, oh, there's someone coming, hold on. Every time someone passes in front of my car, I take down the camera because I'm too awkward. Like it wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't like my huge camera. <laughs> if it was just my phone, then that's one thing. But it's my camera with the microphone and everything and that's just, I'm, I'm just too awkward for that. Oh my God, he's not leaving. He's just sitting in his car. <laughs> what do we do? Okay, we moved. The guy in the car wasn't leaving and he was right there and I was like, ah, 
we moved. So let's just get this going. I didn't end up getting any special editions like I wanted to. Actually, the really the one that I was really looking for was The House on the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune because Barnes & Noble has a special edition that sprayed edges. I thought that this Barnes & Noble would have it, but it didn't. So I did not get that one, unfortunately. That is the one that I really wanted. But I did get a couple of frayed edges books that is the goal and the legacy these oh my god motorcycles it's beautiful out and everyone knows it so the motorcyclists are out but it is the one with the blue sprayed edges oh my god listen to how satisfying this is did you hear it did you hear the satisfying sprayed edges like so satisfying. Anyway, these are the next two books in the Off Campus series, and I have the first three books. This book is actually on my March TBR, so I wanted to get it of like the old books, the old like covers, because those are that would match my three that I have. But these just came out, and these were the only ones that that Barnes and Noble had. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. Even if they don't like fully match the other ones, they match each other, so that's fine. This is The Deal and the Legacy by L. Kennedy. This is about. Sabrina and Tucker. Tucker is another hockey player. I really liked the book one and book three. I didn't love book two of the off-campus series. This one I read like the first chapter of on Kindle because it's on Kindle Unlimited and I, I did like it. Like I feel like if I don't like the characters, the main characters, then it's just gonna go south. But I liked the both main characters of the couple chapters I read. So hopefully it'll be good. And it's actually a pregnancy trope, which is interesting. This is The Legacy, which is a group of little novellas. They're basically like extended epilogues of all five, of, no, of all four couples from the off-campus series. And these are like where they are now type thing. And I thought that was fun. That's so cute. That is such a cute cover. Like all the girls are looking on at the guys, like their husbands or whatever. Life after college, a wedding, a proposal, an elopement, and a surprise pregnancy. Four stories, four couples, three years of real life after graduation. So that's exciting. A book that I'm so excited about because I haven't heard much about this book, but it reminds me of a book that I loved when I was in like middle school called Inkheart, The Book Jumper. I don't know how to say this. Mech Chilled Glasse? I don't know how to say that, but that's the author. Inkheart is a book about a girl who can like in enter into stories, and this is basically that same thing. Like the girl and the guy, I think, are considered book jumpers, and basically they can jump into stories, which is just like, isn't that what literally every reader wants? Isn't that what every book lover wants, is to jump into their favorite story, and this girl can. But there is like an underlying sinister plot to it. Someone is stealing from the book she visits and that person may be after her life. Teaming up with fellow book jumper Will, Amy vows to get to the bottom of the thefts at whatever cost. This is the power that I wish I had. When someone asked me what power would I want to have, it would be to jump into my favorite books and interact with the characters, and that is really what this is. And the next book I got is the second book in a duology. It is Two Twisted Crowns by Rachel Gillig. This is the second book in the Shepherd King duology. The first book is One Dark Window. This is Two Twisted Crowns. It is like a dark fantasy, I think. I haven't read One Dark Window, but it's on my radar to read if not this month then next month some people that really like the first book love the second book even more and some people that didn't like the first book like the second book so i was like no i'm gonna want the second book when i finish reading it basically one dark window is a fantasy the magic system is based on cards and there's like this play going throughout the kingdom and the girl the main character has to find all of different cards to like stop the plague from destroying the kingdom i think so it's like a little adventure and then this is the duology to it so that first book sounds intriguing and i can't wait to get to it and now i have the second book saving six by chloe walsh this is the third yeah the third book in the boys of tommen series these are the new covers i have keeping 13 and binding 13 those are the first two books this is the third book and they are just coming out with these amazingly floppy bloom covers when you put them all next to each other it's like a ombre effect which is kind of cool. I have not read Binding 13, but that is a 600 page romance book. And I think it has a lot of more like serious topics in it that you don't like usually expect in romance books. It's set in Ireland during the time frame of 1999 to 2004. Reader discretion advised. Some people really love the Binding Thir the Boys of the Time series, some people don't love it, but I wanna see where I fall on that scale. And I wanna collect these Bloom editions because I don't know how long they're gonna be here. So I can add this 
to my Boys of Tommen Bloom book collection. I think this one just came out. They're like rolling out the covers every month. This one I think just came out like a week or two ago. So I wanted to get my hands on it. I'm happy Barnes & Noble had it. Those are the five books that I got in our bookstore trip today. I miss these bookstore vlogs. I used to do one like every month last year, but then I really wanted to get through my physical TBR and I have been getting through my physical TBR, so I decided to reward myself with a nice book trip. So even though we didn't find the House in the Australian Sea special edition, we got some good books and I'm sweating. It is so hot, even though it is March. So I'm gonna head home and put them on my shelf to join the rest of our TBR and I just I can't wait that it was our bookstore vlog it was so crowded but it was so needed and I am so happy that we got some really good books that is gonna be it from me today thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye